Welcome to my channel, Taken Wheels with Pat, EV Vlog uh, 11. Uh, so we'll talk about uh, MG ZSEV in holiday season. So I just came back from uh, holidays a couple of uh, days ago and we went to uh, a place around uh, 350 kilometers away from uh, home. So I had uh, a box on the roof with a maximum of uh, 50 kilos on the box. I had uh, uh, two kids, my partner, and I had uh, as well uh, luggage and uh, some summer toys that we had in the in the back, which means it was quite uh, quite heavy. Uh, a heavy load and I thought of uh, I thought yeah well I would need uh, just one uh, I would actually just need a one charge on the way and uh, it did the, it did the job I just needed one charge and not not, not more so on those 350 kilometers I just charged uh, when I reached uh, when I reached 20% of battery left then I start then I charged uh, the car so that I had uh, enough to come to destination plus a little bit extra to to go around but the thing is uh, I calculated around uh, a 250 kilometer range with all that luggage and plus we had wind and it was raining so that uh, that cuts a lot plus it again it was cold so we had uh, we had the fan blowing all the all the time and that takes a little bit of uh, electricity but uh, in overall it wasn't bad at all there was something else as well that people were afraid it's uh, called the uh, electricity queue because uh, everybody uh, we had to most of the people in Norway had to take a holiday in Norway meaning that there was queue on uh, some of the the station the electricity station the only one that didn't have any problem were uh, tesla because uh when they when they do uh when they build charging station tesla they they built the 12 and uh, so you never have queue but uh i was uh, following uh, a few apps to find out some station but when you arrive it, it's a queue because there is uh there is actually one one station and uh, five uh, cars waiting but on the way to um, to the place I stopped to a uh, uh, gas station Circle K and uh, they had the uh, six uh, stations uh, so it was no queue at all we just arrived filled up the car uh, and uh, drove uh, down south and the thing is, uh, I, f I mean, I find out as well after the uh, the update that the car was filling up at uh, 50 uh, kilowatt. So it's uh, about 46 in average because it has to raise. And when you arrive to uh, 80, just uh, it just cuts down so that you don't uh, you don't um, damage the battery. But uh, so in overall, I was quite, uh, quite impressed. Uh, we had a nice holiday. The car uh, behaved uh, well um, after, um, I mean, the expectation I had with uh, with the electricity and uh, and went went well. So just to uh, to let you know, so if you wanna if you take your car in uh, in holiday, uh, just uh, just plan ahead which station you're gonna stop to and. Uh, I would recommend to to stop when you have uh, some lunch lunch time. So try to calculate as well that you don't uh, don't drive uh, in the middle of the night, so that you have to stop at uh, three o'clock in the morning at a at a station because you have to wait uh, maybe uh, forty minutes to be uh, to have it uh, fully charged. And uh, one thing I wanted to say, uh, how I'm sure that uh, the MG stops at uh, fifty kilowatt max charge is that I went to charge it uh, at 120 kilowatt uh, supercharge and he, uh, it, it just got up to uh, 50 and just stayed on 50 all the way 
to uh, until it came to uh, 80%. Then I had to get uh, get off so uh, someone else could uh, could charge. So, but uh, as I said, in overall, it was uh, quite uh, quite interesting. So, if you have been in holidays, please uh, leave a comment. Let me know your uh, thoughts, and don't forget to uh, subscribe. It helps the channel. And um, we'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.